Let's return to West Africa, where a shopping mall owner, Emergence Plaza in Ivory Coast, has issued the first corporate green bond in Francophone West and Central Africa. The eight-year note worth about 18.1 million US dollars is expected to spur further issues of such sustainable debt offering in the region. But more do this, what more does this mean for Africa within the global 300 billion green bonds annual issues market? For more on this great development, let's turn out to uh, Sheikh Sanankor, the co-founder and managing partner at HC Capital Properties in Abidjan. Good evening, my friend. It's good to see you on the show. Tell me more about this emergence green bond offering and what the chief features of the package are for investors. Thanks for having me. It's a great pleasure to be with you here with you. Um, yeah, it's with great pleasure that we're able to close out the first corporate green bond issuance in West Africa and uh, as including Central Africa as well. So it's an, as you mentioned, it's an eight-year note with a 7.5% uh, coupon and a two-year um, principal repayment uh, holiday on, on this bond. Uh, we're quite proud uh, because we're able to issue this uh, green bond along with the, the most... Um, uh, important uh, guidelines. So it was climate bond uh, certified, uh, which is the highest certification that you can get for, for such a bond. And it was also verified by DNLB, which is an Australian firm uh, that specializes in such uh, green bond issuances. Uh, th this, uh, what makes this offering uh, attractive for HC Capital Properties, this is a real estate. Uh, and what specific projects are uh, these funds being deployed? It's about uh, roughly 18 million US dollars. So this was uh, very important for us for a number of reasons. Uh, the first one is, you know, we focus on the region and it was important for us to be able to attract uh, local institutional capital. Uh, to invest in the space. Uh, a lot of them have capital that they allocate to not only uh, real estate, but also other market-related uh, issuances. But you don't have as much activity as one would want. So there's a bit of a supply-demand uh, gap. So by doing this issuance, uh, we were able, one, to have the first real estate-related uh, issuance of paper um, in this market, even though it's a private placement bond, it's the first real estate uh, of such uh, issuances to be issued. And second, uh, as far as the green bond is, is concerned, uh, there's the rising interest in, in sustainable investing and, uh, and, and financing. And uh, all these investors were quite excited to be part of, uh, of the future because this is part of, of, of the future, we think, of, of, of financing. Because as you know, we've seen in this project, um, we didn't have to sacrifice uh, performance and uh, investor returns uh, by making this a green investment, uh, which is the one thing we're very proud of. Uh, where are you making further sustainable investments across the Francophone West Africa and Central African region, uh, Che? So we're working on a number of things. So we obviously have uh, the retail platform where there are a number of shopping centers that we're looking at, including Cote d'Ivoire and in some other countries in the region um, in, on the development side of things. But we also um, have residential uh, hospitality and, and office where we also have projects that we're working uh, on. And basically all of our projects across the asset classes um, are going to be IFC EDGE certified, which is the green bond certification um, program from the, uh, the World Bank, the, the IFC. And basically all of our projects um, are going to be green bond uh, uh, certified. So that's kind of uh, part of um, our approach. And as I mentioned before, uh, with us doing that, you know, we, we think that we're actually able to, to optimize our operational costs uh, and contributing to, to all the climate initiatives that are ongoing uh, and being a respectful investor to the environment. For, for, for this investment, what will be the basis for your uh, informed investment decisions? Um, the, so what's interesting is initially uh, we knew we wanted this to be um, a, um, a, a green investment. Uh, and we designed it as such uh, from the scratch. 
And it's only after we opened the shopping center that we went after the certification. Because typically what people do is when they design it, they design it specifically with the, the green bond parameters uh, in line. So it's a great tribute to the team that basically blindly was able to, to deliver a project that was uh, financially viable, but also green. And basically we looked at what are the ways where we could build uh, a building that would be uh, sustainable, uh, where we would have uh, you know, water efficiencies, um, energy consumption efficiencies, et cetera, choosing the right materials uh, for installations for the sun, et cetera. So in having this approach, which today yields in lower operational costs than comparable shopping centers, we're also able to have a, a, a green investment. So, you know, it was a dual purpose uh, a, a strategy, uh, maintaining the, the returns for our investors, uh, but also uh, having uh, the, 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 the impact on the operational cost of the mall and ultimately having a green uh, a building uh, on the back of all of that. Uh, uh, Cheikh uh, Hassan co-founder and managing partner at HC Capital Properties in uh, Abidjan, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Thank you so much for your time this evening and enjoy the rest of your day. And we wish you all the best. Congratulations. <music>